Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of The Finishing Blow. Um, yeah, I'm back outside and it feels really weird because I didn't do it last week. If you guys did watch last week's video, I was inside because uh, there were like tornado warnings and rain was pouring and I really wanted to go out because this camera's waterproof, but I don't think you'd even have been able to hear me. So I'm back out for now. Um, I know there was a comment that said they liked uh, the webcam better, which was Josh. and. Um, because he said that I'm going back outside. I'm just kidding. I know who he is, so it's okay that I'm mean to him. What if it wasn't? What if it was a different Josh? That'd be bad. But I don't know. For the time being, I think outside helps me think better. Plus, it's the only time I ever go outside. Ever. So if I want to work on this tan, I don't know why I point it to my face. I think most people just point to like their body when they think of a tan. But I went straight for the face. Um But yeah, I need to go outside more, so we'll see. I mean if a lot of people, if you guys haven't seen last week's video, it's not good, but um, if you like the format, then let me know. But all right, so I'm going to talk about this week now as opposed to last week because last week's in the past and this week actually covers stuff that happened in the past too. Um, all right, so starting off was the announcement that Chow Yun Fat and Sammo Hung would be working together in a movie called Once Upon a Time in Shanghai. Um, I'm excited, but I'm not quite sure if it's going to be a martial arts movie, even though I posted it on my webpage because obviously those are, they're huge actors. Um, I just don't know what kind of movie it's going to be because it's like a crime film. So I'm thinking it's going to be more of a uh, like drama with probably lots of bullets and people dying. Maybe not as much martial arts because Samuel Hung, um, I mean, he's a good actor if you think about it. And if you saw him in a, Kill Zone or SPL depending on where you're from he makes a pretty convincing like gang leader so it'll be interesting to see what they do with that with like two freaking powerhouses on the same screen I hope that there's like a fight scene but Charyon Fat's more bullets and um, you know they're both old they could both beat me down and they, I don't even think it takes both of them Sam Hunk could probably just knock me out in one punch but uh I don't know, so I don't I don't know if they're gonna do how they're gonna do the action. It'll be interesting to see if they ramp it up because they got Chayon Fat and Samuel Hung to be in the film. Um, it's windy. Ugh. I forgot about that in the sun. And there's already people staring at me because it's like early in the morning. Um, not super early, but early enough for people to stare and for me to annoy them with my voice. So, all right, moving on. Uh, was what Monday? What happened on Monday? Oh, Vincent Zhao, which, man, that's just a whole fiasco, isn't it? Um, Vincent Zhao held a press conference and pretty much said that he will not be on a special identity anymore. Now, there's a lot of back and forth as to, like, he's saying they, like, pretty much terminated him, and uh, they're saying that he was pretty much acting like a diva, I guess, which is kind of funny. It's not funny. It's, it is funny. I'm, yeah, it's funny. Um, but I don't know, like, it's hard to know what's true and what's not, especially like in the media, because it's like, oh, he had like seven people, like an entourage around him at all times. I don't know if that's true. I mean, I wasn't on the set. And, um, if I was, I probably would have been following Donnie and not Vincent. So yeah, I would, I'd say, it. um, what am I talking about? Going outside was a great idea in retrospect, just a fantastic idea. Um, all right, but anyways, so... Vincent Zhao will not be on the special identity. He's going to be replaced by Andy On, who's a very talented screen fighter and um, martial artist. He's been in a bunch of films. Uh, I'm trying. Viral Factor, I think, is the most recent one he's been in. But he was in True Legend, which he fought Vincent Zhao. Now that I think about it, it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, so Andy's going to be on it. Uh, Donnie Yen and Andy are actually talking about doing a 10-minute fight sequence. That'd be sick. I don't know how you could actually last against Donnie Yen for 10 minutes. I'm trying to think if the Flashpoint fight with Colin Cho, or Chow, was 10 minutes long. It probably was pretty close. If it's anything like that, it's going to be insane. So I'm not too bummed that Vincent Zhao left, but it's just, it makes Donnie look bad too, because Donnie is actually the one that recommended Vincent for the role, and so they cast him, and then he ended up like ditching him, and Donnie's been trying to like get in contact, and Vincent's not having any of it, so it sucks, but at least the movie's not gone it's not dead they just replaced them um so maybe that'll be a good life lesson for everybody that was involved 
I would not want to make Donnie mad. Like, ah, I'd be so depressed if I let him down because he would probably punch my face off. And I'm sure he's done that in the movie. All right, so continuing on, I did a post on The Raid and uh, Marantel was like a dual like post. It was actually because I was waiting on Wednesday's article to uh, come up and it never did, which is okay. I mean, I was just patiently waiting and then it got later and later and I was like, man, I should probably post something. So I found this poster for the Australian uh, poster for The Raid and it's like, it's so to the point. It's awesome. It's like, what, what does it say? It's like one minute of romance and like 99 minutes of violence. How is that for short and sweet? Like, oh, I wish every movie was just like that. It's like, yeah, two minutes of dialogue and 84 minutes of explosions. Um, that'd be awesome. Like, everybody be like, I know exactly what I'm getting into. But speaking of the raid, while I'm on it, since I didn't get anything else about the raid to talk about, which is weird because I've been checking, and as of right now, when I filmed this, uh, Gareth Evans hasn't updated his blog. Now, there's supposed to be the behind the scenes scene that you can see on Apple, like on Apple trailers or whatever, but I couldn't, A, I couldn't get it to work, and B, I wasn't sure if people could see it like around the world, and I know some of you guys are not in the States, and so I was gonna wait, but if you guys can, you may check out Apple's website and see if you can see the next behind the scenes. I haven't seen it myself, so I'm not quite sure what it is about or what's all on it but uh oh, the raid's coming out real soon i want to see it and i have a feeling i'm not going to be able to see it i don't think it's coming to my side of the states at all like i think it's just new york and la which is depressing if i can watch it i will but oh, i just don't think it's coming it's so sad all right so oh and then Marantau, yeah <laughs> that little thing twitch said it was an extended fight scene i can't remember and I should have gone back and watched Marantel again but if it was it was very minimal changes to it because I don't remember any part of it that was missing when I watched it again which they could have just been saying it or maybe the fight the uh, blu-ray that I have is already extended which I don't think so but for whatever reason I posted it just because a lot of people didn't get to see Marantel so I thought it'd be good for you guys to check out what Eco did before and it's such a big change from the raid like if you think about like they did a good job of shifting characters and making sure he wasn't just the same character over and over again because the raid's going to be insane. All right, so after that, whew, there's so many things to talk about. I'm still on Wednesday. Um, Thousand Pounds Fight Team posted their Street Fighter Cross Tekken uh, video, which was called, I think, The Devil Within. And if you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely check it out. It's pretty sweet. Um, there's a lot of like little homages to it too. I mean obviously you'll know all the characters and stuff, but like Ruben Langdon as Ken, he is the voice actor for Ken. Like that's awesome. And um, he's actually a really good fighter if you did not see in the video. But um, I've also heard he trained with Samuel Hung for a bit, so he knows what he's doing. And uh, it was a good video. I don't know what else to tell you besides you should watch it. Um, I don't want to spoil anything, but just check it out. A lot of, lot of cool effects, um, good fights, sick music, uh, was Honest Eyes, Black Tide, I think. Ah, I think I got it right. Nick, if I'm wrong, don't don't tell me. But I'm pretty sure it's Honest Eyes by Black Tide. Um, so yeah, check it out. See what you think of it. I liked it. Okay, so after that, I did a post on, um, I don't remember how to pronounce his name, but it's a movie called Guns N' Roses which is really hard to find an image for especially when they don't have a poster for it but it's a chinese like it's i don't know it's like a heist movie i guess like the literal translation is like gold thieves or something like that but i don't know why they changed it to guns and roses i have no idea what the mo the trailer actually is about but it looks like it's gonna have a lot of good like action and comedy like fight scenes uh shootouts explosions it looks funny, but I have no idea what they're saying, so maybe it just looks funny to me. But you should check out the trailer. Once I find a sub version, I'll totally upload it. But uh, for now, I just, I don't know, I thought it was interesting. And it was either going to be about that or the uh, Kenshin trailer, which I should probably show you guys too. But uh, I don't know how many of you guys are actually into anime. Um, I used to be into Kenshin, but... That was forever ago, so anyways, I'll have to write about that 
sooner or later as well. When there's a trailer that's not half Japanese talk show and then half trailer, maybe I can like post it. But um, is that it? Okay, so I did my review on uh, Born to Fight with Dan Chapong and uh, director Pe Blech! I can't talk. It's way too early to be talking. It's directed by Panda Raider Cry. And um, you'll have to check it out and see what I thought of it. But it's so golly. I hadn't seen that movie in forever. Did I just say golly? What's wrong with me? Um, the movie came out in like 04? I think it was 04 or 05. And it's like so Thailand heavy. Like there's a guy that he grabs this flag, this Thai flag. And from the moment his hands touch it, he does not let it go. Ever. It's just like, every time you see him, he's running with this flag, and it's just so ridiculous. But uh, it's good for a laugh. But yeah, read my whole review if you want to know what I actually thought about it. It's, I don't know, it's got some good action and just some parts that just make you shake your head. But uh, yes, check out my review. And um, is that it? I think that's really it. Um, yeah, that's all I got. So again, if you guys prefer this method as me rambling and fighting the wind and probably not I think I'm the only person that actually enjoys doing this because I go outside but uh let me know which one you prefer whether you like the webcam style or the walk and talk style and uh as always if you have a movie you want me to review I'll try to watch it and uh post a review on it because I'm pretty much just going through my collection right now and I was like I haven't seen a Thai movie in a while so I did that um but otherwise I guess uh I've already got some stuff I want to talk about for next week, so I'm just super excited. But we'll save that for next week. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm done. So hopefully you guys had an awesome week. It was fun checking out all the new videos and stuff. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for stopping by. This is Kay Miller, and this week has been finished.